Hello, my name is Nazir Khan from the Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology and I will be demonstrating uh, to you how to calculate the resultant force of a system of force. Okay. Now, we're, the resultant force is a singular force, a single force that represents all of these force. It has the same effect on the point of application. In this case, it's the eye bolt here. Find the resultant force and the angle it makes with the horizontal of the cables acting on the eye bolt. So we have the eye bolt, we have one, two, three, four cables acting away from it. Cables only could be in tension, as you can see the arrowheads are acting away. And as we examine this system of force, we could see that we have one horizontal and one vertical force. And the other two force are angular force. This one here is given uh, the angle or the direction is given by an angle from the horizontal which is 30 degrees. The second angular force the direction is given by a rise and a run and as you could see that is the slope. Now it's a 3, 4, 5 triangle so we know the small hypotenuse here will be 5. We know that uh, even without uh, going and use Pythagoras theorem to get the hypotenuse. Okay. Before we could uh, calculate the resultant force, we have to calculate the components of the resultant force, which is summation forces in the x direction and summation forces in the y direction. And as you already know, to add forces, you have to have the same direction. So we have to resolve this force and this force here, because these are the two angular force. When we resolve them, we're going to have a horizontal component for this one that's going to the right and a vertical component that's going up. And when we resolve this one, we're going to have a horizontal component that's going to the left and a vertical component that's going up. Okay, let's go and resolve these. So then once we have the, the same direction, we could then add them. As we could see the system of force, the same thing. I only put in the hypotenuse of that small triangle there, and that's the change. I'm going to resolve this force first, and I'm going to create a component diagram. As you could see, the force itself is right here as the red dotted line. Okay, I know that the component for this force is going to be to the right. The horizontal component is going to be to the right, and the vertical component is going to be up. Now, because this is in standard position, meaning that you have the angle from the horizontal, I could go and solve for this component with uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is given by this number here, the 580 newtons. So it will be adjacent over hypotenuse. Well, that is the cos function. The easy way to, 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 to solve this is to take the magnitude and multiply it by the cos of 30 degrees and you will get the, the, the uh, horizontal component of that particular force. And likewise, if I want to go and solve for the vertical component here, remember that you're solving a right triangle. This, this force really should be over here uh, for a right triangle, but because forces have to uh, go through the point of application to have the effect of the original force, you have to just imagine this guy over here. It'll be opposite over hypotenuse, which is sine. So magnitude, sine 30 degrees will give me that component. Now, I have the two components of these force, the horizontal and vertical components. Remember that, again, this is really solving a right triangle right there. If I were to check my, my components by running it through Pythagoras theorem, I would take this number here, 290, square it, add it to the square of this number, 502 squared, and uh, then basically what I would do, I would take the root of that, and uh, I would uh, come back to the original force. That's your check. I would come back to the original force. So we've resolved this first force here. Let's go and resolve the second one, which is given by the slope. The direction is given by the slope. We already know that. So when we look at this, it's the same. You're going to solve this one by similar triangles. And there's an easy way to do this. If you want to solve for the vertical force, which is this guy here, you're going to take the vertical component here, multiply it by 400, divided by 5, as 3 times 400 divided by 5, 240 newtons acting up. 
and likewise if you want the horizontal component 4 times uh, 400 divided by 5 will give you that and you run those through Pythagoras theorem to ensure that you got the right numbers okay so we have resolved the only two angular force now as you could see all of the forces have horizontal component well except for this one and that's because it only has a vertical component and uh, then we have the vertical direction this one is going that way Ver up this one is going up and we're gonna have this guy going up let's go and use summation forces in the x and y direction to to get the the components or, or the legs of um, of the resultant force when we look at this I am going to start with summation forces in the x direction to the right I'm using a sign convention to add the forces to the right is going to be positive that means to the left any force going to the left is going to be negative I'm going to start right here 530 is going to the right so I list it right there the second force right here the component that I want to add is 502 and it's going to the right so it'll be positive again this force here does not have an X component so I can't add anything from that one it only has a vertical component this one here as we resolved here it has a horizontal component and it is going to the left okay so we have three one two and three and we should have three terms one two three when we summate that okay we're going to have 712 Newton but because this number turned out to be positive here our sign convention will tell us what direction that uh, that component is acting because it's positive there it is that's positive it's acting to the right we know it's the horizontal component because we did summation forces in the x direction let's go and do summation forces in the y direction when we look at that we come up here this doesn't have a y component it only has a one component which is in the x direction but this guy here has a y component we already calculated it it is 209 and 290 going up and we could see that it's positive because our sign convention says up is positive the next one that we come to is 600 up again so that will be another positive number okay and this one here will be 240 acting up and there it is so all of these are positive when I sum that I'll have 1130 acting up okay so now I have the components of the resultant force let's go and uh, look at how that resultant will actually um, the direction it possibly would have this is just the calculation that we just did when you're adding components of a force you add them head to tail head to tail the components are had added head to tail the resultant is ha added head to head tail to tail keep that in mind because you can need that for the general direction of the resultant force now if we want to go and calculate the angle in here okay we have the two legs of the triangle two legs of the triangle the angle in here the the trig function that will give you that angle would be tangent opposite over adjacent you're gonna have to do the arc tan of that to get the actual angle so let's go and look how that is working we see that we have opposite over adjacent our tan of that will give me 57.8 degrees which is right in here that's the angle from the horizontal okay let's go and uh, calculate the actual magnitude of the resultant force now we're gonna take these two and run it through um, these two uh, legs or components and run it through Pythagoras theorem and as we could see that we're going to take the horizontal leg and square it and sum it to the vertical leg squared and take the root of that it will give you 1336 newtons already know the general direction of that that um, resultant force it's acting like that and it has a uh, a direction of 57.8 degrees from the horizontal right there okay so I have magnitude I have direction I have sense and my point of application will be the eye bolt okay so I have all four components the last thing that we're gonna do is do a summary diagram of this 
And when we look at the summary diagram, 1336 going up and to the right, and we have a direction that's given by 57.8 degrees. Now you have completed the calculation of the resultant force of a system of force. Thank you. I hope that this helps you uh, with your studies. Bye-bye.